Good morning, Burries. It is not morning. But it was when we woke up. It was also morning when we went to bed. We are um, on our way. We're actually at LAX right now. So I was about to say we're on our way to the airport. We are catching a flight to San Antonio from Pack South, which is exciting. We we're supposed to leave early this morning, but we still had a ton of videos to edit and work on. That was very, that was very eventful. So we booked a later flight, which it was only like 75 bucks to change. That's still a lot of money, but considering we had it slept and probably would have died if we attempted to leave um, this morning. We probably would have forgotten a lot of important things. Impor tons of important things. Can't do that. Here we go though. Alright, we've arrived at the secret, secret terminal. 60 it's weird. A through I. We normally fly Delta. No. Yeah, we never do this. But we're here. Look at this. We're here like an hour early and we're editing. I know. We left the house and two and a half hours, almost three hours early. Yeah, that never happens. It never happens. No. And we were filming stuff. My banana chapstick. Let me see. Tony Molly banana chapstick. Uh, does it taste like bananas? A little bit. Smell like bananas? Yeah. Yummy. Like the good kind, not like the baby food. <laughs> the banana baby food? Yep. Check this out. Megan got both of us our very own DS little purse case thing and it just dangles dangles on my pants like that, like so. It's cool, right? Very cute. Honey. Editing time. Editing time. So Megan is still editing up there. I'm going to start putting our decks for the Pokemon tournament in these sleeves that Megan got yesterday. I'm gonna give Megan the Pikachu ones, and I'm gonna use the Charizard ones, because I know she wants the Pikachu ones. American Eagle doing the American Eagle dance. Your girl finally got her Wendy's. Oh, Wendy's. smile. So guys, we got in and um, we're almost gonna come to PAX because we were supposed to go to somewhere else right after PAX and stuff was just really confusing. I didn't buy my ticket out because I wasn't for sure. And then when I went to go buy my ticket to, um, to leave after one of the other things that I was supposed to go do fell through. Um, the tickets were like really, really expensive. They were like, uh, it was like $500 a ticket to return. And I'm like, I'm not getting paid to be here at PAX. It is really fun. And I'm speaking on panels and it's, I have a really great time, time being here, but I don't know if I could really justify, you know, spending over a thousand dollars just on flights. And then I hadn't even paid for my hotel yet. Oh my gosh. There we go. So, I had to kind of make like a bit of a big girl decision, and I did. And then I, I called up Stacy, or I texted Stacy, I told Polaris that I couldn't, or Maker, that I couldn't come. And then my friend Benny was like, dude, I found like a really good deal for you. Like, it's super, super cheap. It's like 500 bucks for the hotel and for the flights. And I was like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. So great because that's already like super cheaper that's round trip 500, 500 bucks for both john and i and then hotel was um super cheap too so the flight was great uh we ha actually had like i think we had like some upgraded seats for some re weird reason it was like really really nice and then uh we got to our hotel and it was like a super eight motel or hotel thing and i don't i don't think there's anything really particularly wrong with those but our hotel had like bugs everywhere and then the door wouldn't lock and it was just super thrashed and it, we have our equipment and stuff and if anything were to get stolen that would just be just really really horrible and I felt super unsafe especially the fact that the door wouldn't lock was kind of insane and I mean the bugs were massive um, so we we found another place <laughs> that's closer to the convention center and we booked it got some Wendy's um, so 
a little bit more money than I wanted to spend while I was out here, but you know, end of the day, this is gonna be a super fun trip, and um, we get to hang out with Stacy and Parker, and a whole bunch of my awesome, amazing friends that are here, uh, but it just, like, I don't know. I felt really like I was being an adult, and like, oh yeah, Megan's made an adult decision, standing her ground, she's not gonna go, because I'm being smart about this, even though I had said I was already going, and then, and then I changed my mind. Hopefully the TV audio wasn't too crazy. Just trying to listen to me. But, um, I was feeling pretty bad. Now I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Kind of like when I make bad decisions. Or I feel like I make the wrong decision, I should say. I just kind of like beat myself up and just feel really horrible. And I was like, it's just kind of my way of just kind of, I don't know, dealing with it. But I'm feeling better now. We're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be good, right, John? It's gonna be amazing. Have an amazing time. It's gonna be way better than good. It's gonna be way better than good. It's gonna be gooder. It's greater. It's gonna be greater. Great, better. But man, that first hotel was so crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, that was creepy. Those, that bug was huge. I wanted to film it, but I actually physically started feeling sick. It was a smoking room too, so it smelled like cigarettes and. Nasty stuff. Oh, it was an adventure! A little one. But this hotel's nice. It's pretty, it's pretty fancy. It's really nice. There's all of our, all of our stuff. We've got like a little couch there. This was one of the cheaper hotels, but it's like, it's super nice. Super Not nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Hotels are expensive. When you become an adult and you book your first hotel, you realize how expensive they actually are. And when you go too cheap, you end up with bugs and broken doors. Yikes. And horrible things. Anywho, I'm going to stop complaining about these insane first world problems. I'm going to eat my Wendy's. Okay? Okay. All right, everyone, calm down. I hope I'm in focus. Yeah, calm down, everyone. This camera sucks. You guys are being crazy right now. Yeah, calm down. Seriously. You got to eat my chicken nugs. Being so loud. So I arrived at PAX and I'm headed to my panel. I have like a minute until it starts, so I'm running really late. This is amazing. <laughs> To prove what they do and don't know. You're like really smart. You'll be really good at this. I don't know you too well. Because you might be really good at it too. I'm gonna do it. Don't worry. I'm gonna be really good. <laughs> we're, we're gonna start this with a very volatile question. Who did you vote for? No, okay, anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm Canadian. I'm excited. You're Canadian. Okay, so the way that the round is going. <laughs> Why are you even here then? The look of disgust, guys, you couldn't really see it. I used to game a lot, you know, back in the day. My gaming time done got so short that my skills ain't where they need to be online. Why do you have to You know what I'm saying? I just got that Xbox One, gotta get my skills back, up the par to call myself a gamer. <laughs> Oddly enough, it was Jennifer Lawrence. Was it? No, it's Ice Cube. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got one! Good job!
started crying. It was great. <laughs> Age, how, how's your PAX experience been? What have you been up to? It's been good. It's been an experience. I love the TCG stuff to all of it, and I've been exploring that all weekend. Uh, so, Megan, how, how did you start doing, doing Minecraft? Oh, so I, um, I think I started actually with like Joey, Graceffa, and Stacy. I think my most like proudest moments were crafting dead when I didn't know how to fill up a water bucket. <laughs> yeah, I started off very rough. They kept playing, and they're like, "You should play with us." And I'm like, I'm not, I don't understand this game. I don't know how to do it. And then we just started filming a series together, and I made a really big fool of myself. But I guess like you don't have to be good at Minecraft in order to make Minecraft videos, <laughs> which is my whole career now. <laughs> yeah. And H, how, how did you start? Uh, you uh, maybe like four years ago, my friend told me he was a better builder than me. I didn't accept that. <laughs> no. It was fine. Yeah, so I went on Xbox 360 and started challenging him. I beat him. In 2012, I started playing it mostly because of Joey Graceffa, and we would go over to Megan's house, and I I didn't know what I was doing at You're all. You're way better than me, though. Yeah, I guess. At the beginning, didn't you know a little bit more than Actually, you? Actually, that's right, you were really, really bad. Joey would say, like, Stacey's so bad. Like, it's hard to play with her, she's so bad. I'm no, like, but then I got really, really obsessed, and I would just, like, play it. Like, I'd go over to their house and play it for a few hours, and then they would just, like, probably go to sleep. But I would go home and, like, get on the server again for, like, five hours, and be like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll just try. And I'd, like, play Hunger Games, and I don't know, it just kind of turned into something more. And, Snowball. That's awesome. <laughs> Why are you shaking? Why are you so happy? You want to take a picture? Had a good time hanging out with everybody. Um, but yeah, we're headed home today, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!